Hey, welcome back everyone. I'm Saul Garza. Uh, today's um, video is going to be a build to replace this whole thing. So this is a one and a half inch PVC that I've had for well, 10 years that I fished with or 12 years in, in the Texas City dike and jetties and all that. So this is pretty much my rod holder and Texas City the, the other day I um, I had a rod in one of these and a fish took took off with it and it banged to it, it ran the opposite way from where it was cradled so it was also difficult to get the, the rod handle out of the PVC so I'm going to be making a rod holder with one and a half inch PVC, but where I'm gonna be able to have two or three in one stand and where I can be standing up to where I can just grab and, and be able to set the hook and not have them on the rocks. So I have to take into consideration all my 10, 12 foot rods. This is a 10 foot. This is one of the most awkward uh, tsunamis or rods that I have. This is a Tsunami Trophy 2. Has a really short butt, butt end, but a really long, almost six foot long end, right? So the power behind it is here in this joint, below this joint. So I have to measure from where their power stance is or their power, where all their power comes in. So I can make this rod holder universal for spinning and my bait casting. You can see all this meat right here is, you can tell this uh, pen Fierce 2 has, it starts tapering right here. So I want to be able to stay in here in their power range so when that hit, that, that initial hit is not in the most awkward place or the most flimsiest part of, of a rod and that's the thinner part. So that's going to be the objective for today. I'm going to be building one of them. I'm going to do a three rod holder and because I, I, I want to take a trip on Monday on my birthday and, uh, and see how it turns out. I want to use it for Monday. So it's going to be a stand to where it's in an angle. I bought some uh, 45 uh, some 45 uh, connections so we'll see how much we can we can uh, extend out uh, to where it's still stable anyway this is going to be a fun one so I measured all, all of the butts and they were about four feet to where their power is so from here to where I needed to be sitting. So if this if this is my crossbar coming across like this. And I have this T sitting in the middle. I want this rod to sit up higher. To where I can pull out and up with no restriction or very little restriction. So basically, right here at my knee, so if I'm standing here. That would be easy to pull up. So, actually my, my kids are probably fight uh, from there too. We're going to measure here. That's two feet off the ground. So we're gonna do two feet cutouts so I can get my height. And then 
we'll move from there. That's four feet. I can get my two legs off of this one. So my next measurement is going to be from where the the butt sits and four that's going to be four feet right at its power and I'm measuring all of my other rods and they're four feet also so from the two to the to the top I want it no more than four feet long so that would make six feet in height of where the rod top the top of the rod holder is so I'm gonna go ahead and do let's see where does three feet put me three feet puts me right here so I need a crossbar that comes across here the butt insert here and that should be five feet total length with the two below here. So we'll cut three and twos and then we'll go from there. All right, so I got all my pieces cut. cut these four inches because of the, the wider rods I want them separated. So I'm going to do three rods. to make the base so I'm gonna okay so this is pretty much the concept now I need to bring in a crossbar, crossbar here, and then the legs out. Let me measure and then cut this. GoPro, stop recording. So I can have a good angle. 
So I found this joint right here. Instead of a 45, and that would get me up high. <clears throat> did buy another set of teeth. to do is notch notch the PVC here heat it up or bend it just so it won't go anywhere that way I can lift and fight and <clears throat> Thank you. 
I'm gonna do three, and then the other ones I think I'm gonna have to do two. I need to do enough for six or seven rods. <laughs> so I did decide, I did cut the, I did cut uh, this five footer in half. I placed my T. These are 24 inches long, so it'll fit my three rods. I still got to, I still have to glue everything down. And if I do get on the sand, I'll take these off and they can dig in. So uh, now just to uh, figure out what I want to glue, which will probably be just in two pieces. So here's the intent. This is a six foot bolt rod. A ten foot surf rod. Quick to set the hook and a ten foot. This is a nine foot. Yeah, nine foot spinning rod. Still need to make the little indentations there. I think my kids can even stand right here and fight the fish. Well, that's it. I just need to uh, make those indentations and glue it all up. And we're good. Throw it in the truck. So thinking on the fly here on this one, I did make some modifications. Um, I could always go the opposite way, take this all the way to the ground, um, take this small piece up top and then go up here and make it shorter, make it a shorter, a shorter uh, rod holder. I really don't want to do that. Uh, I think I'm happy. I'm happy. I just need to put, I need to make some indentations there or figure out a clip or something I can screw in there. I think I have something up there that I could probably do. Um, all this was with one and a half inch uh, PVC, schedule 40. Um, whole project probably cost me about 15 to 18 dollars. Um, some of this pipe I already had. But a 10 foot section will cost you $5. So it's two 10 foot sections that I ended up using here. So pretty cheap to keep uh, these big rods from hitting the rocks. So anyway, uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments and, uh, and I'll, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, we're gonna be send, taking this to, to our, my trip on Monday uh, on my birthday. And we're going to go to Texas City again, and we're going to see, uh, you know, how effective it is. So, again, thank you. Um, make sure you smash that, that like button, that notification button, and, of course, subscribe. Uh, we are on our, our way for our 500 uh, subscriber. 
and so we can give away our generator share this video uh, and uh, we'll catch y'all later thank you again